Hey guys, it's Punisher, and I wanted to talk about something uh, a lot of people have been having some issues with and questions about, and it comes from guys that have very high-end gaming rigs and have a two-PC streaming setup. Uh, so here's the thing. You have a high-end gaming monitor that's a 1440p or 4K with a high refresh rate of 120 hertz and up, 144 hertz, whatever. And you have a gaming capture card such as like my Elgato HD60 Pro, which does 1080p by 60 hertz. Okay, so normally how you would get video to your capture card is you would clone your gaming monitor to your capture card. And what that would do is that would default your gaming monitor to 60 hertz at 1080p, even though it's 1440p and probably a higher refresh rate. Uh, and you could go into NVIDIA control panel and make your clone source your gaming monitor, but what's going to happen is you can only change one of two things. You can either change your resolution or your refresh rate, not both. Uh, this was an issue that came about. Uh, Hadoukens was talking about this a while back on Twitter, and I brought in Lieutenant Royal Shrip, who's an NVIDIA rep, or not NVIDIA, I'm sorry, Elgato rep, and he told us, yes, yeah, basically you can change one or the other, not both. That kind of sucks. A lot of people are wondering about this. They're like, man, you know, I don't, you know, why would I want to uh, do a two PC streaming setup with an Elgato capture card or any capture card for that matter that does 1080p 60 and not be able to use full, uh, full capability in my gaming monitor? So uh, this guy came to me this weekend and asked me this very question. And then he showed me a subreddit, and he says, I've seen this subreddit, but I don't know how to do this. Can you show me how to do this in OBS Studio? And basically, it's using OBS Studio to send the signal to your Elgato uh, or your capture card instead of using uh, the clone source through your control panel through Windows. So I'm going to do two things. First of all, I'm going to show you how you can clone for guys like me to have a 1080p monitor with a high refresh rate, um, in which case mine is 120 hertz. We'll show you how you can clone your uh, capture card to your gaming monitor and then be able to change your gaming monitor to get that refresh rate back to 120 or 144 hertz. Then I'm going to show you this thing through OBS Studio where it bypasses cloning your card to your monitor but instead sends a signal to your capture card from the scene that is that you've built in OBS and then that would allow you to use your gaming monitor and have a video capture source to your capture card with them working independently. So let's go ahead and start first. I'm going to show you how to clone. So I'm going to drop these two things. and It's very easy to do. So go in and for NVIDIA control panel, it's very easy to do. So here, first thing we will do is you'll go into set up multiple displays. Now here I already have mine set up. But if you were coming in, you know, brand new, okay, you would have this setup. So you have, I have two dedicated monitors on my game rig. So I have monitor one, monitor two, and then my Elgato. Okay. And you can see the identities here by the numbers. Okay. So what I would want to do is I want to clone my gaming monitor to my Elgato, which is number one. Okay. And by doing that, I have now tied these together, so let's apply that. And you see some flashing around as the displays get set up. And there we go, we got that. Now I should be able to, let's see, let's go to clone source. All right, so make sure your clone source, and this is the important step here, you want your clone source to be your gaming monitor, okay? So that's telling Windows, okay, I want everything to match what the gaming monitor is, not what the capture card's doing. So I select two there, and uh, I've already done that, so I'm going to just keep going through that. And uh, let's go to change resolution, and you can see that my gaming monitor is at 1920 by 1080 at 120 hertz. My Elgato is slave to it, and so the refresh rate is grayed out. Now, it's actually processing at 60 hertz at the card. It's not doing 120 hertz. So don't think that you've now bypassed Elgato's capability. No, it's still doing 60 hertz. Um, and then my third monitor, as you can see, is doing 60 hertz. So 
a lot of people that are out there have been wondering that you know are you able to do this very thing here and yes you can it's very easy to do at least for nvidia users they've made it very easy to do i don't know about radion i can't i can't help you out there but i'm sure it's pretty similar in the same you know the same way that you would do it here in nvidia i can't imagine it being much different all right so now the second problem that we have okay so first of all let's talk about obs okay obs you know open broadcast software you're going to need to install that on your gaming rig okay so go ahead and install obs studio on there now for this setup okay you're to, we're talking about those guys with the 1440p monitors and up you're going to want to have these decloned you don't want your elgato cloned okay so you're going to want to see this right here so if you have a multiple monitor set up from you know i have two monitors you're going to want to see three boxes if you only have a single monitor in your elgato you're going to want to see two boxes okay and you're going to make sure that these are identified up here at the top okay and this is what you want you don't want them cloned okay so you, you do not clone that's paramount because now with these all decloned and separate OBS can see these as separate displays. Okay, so that's that's why it's important. So I'm gonna cancel out of that because I don't actually. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't want to because then I'm using my stream rig to record this video. So if I were to now leave this, then you would see a big black screen, and that's not gonna do you any good. Okay, so I'm gonna cancel out of that. But hypothetically speaking, think of think of me now having three separate monitors. Okay, so close that. Let's bring up OBS. Okay, so here's OBS. All you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add enough sources into your scene to be able to display the game that you're going to play. So uh, there's three basic ways of doing that. There's game capture if you're running full screen, or you can do display capture, and that's going to display whatever is on your monitor. Or you can also do a window capture, which will capture a window, you know, if you have that window for that game selected and for your window capture it'll capture that window whenever it comes up so you would run display capture or window capture if you're doing uh, windowed mode or borderless okay both of those will work um, game capture only for full screen uh, now i'm going to say game capture is your most efficient way of capturing your game and not affecting your cpu and gpu so it takes less CPU to do game chat capture than it does to do display capture window capture. All right, just keep that in mind. All right, that's all you're going to need on here. Okay, so once you have those on here, you want to right click on your display here and you want to go to full screen projector preview. Now, if you had all of your screens decloned and you had uh, a single monitor and you had your Elgato, okay, uh, you would you need to note how they're numbered in Windows. Okay, for me, my Elgato was one, my gaming monitor was two. Okay, so here, display zero would actually be one in Windows. Display one would be to display two in Windows. Okay, so that's how it works. So this would be my capture card right here. So this scene that I have shown here. So if you start a game up on your gaming rig, okay, the game should pop up automatically in your scene you're going to send that to your Elgato. So you would select this display zero and you select it. And now your Elgato is picking up a video source from OBS showing your gaming monitor and what is being processed from your gaming rig to your gaming monitor. And I want you to note that I am using about anywhere from 3.6 up to about 6% at times it'll go up of CPU resources okay some people were saying that they when they did this initial setup they were having some issues when they ran the game with some stuttering that sort of thing come to find out that they were actually using some of their GPU resources by doing this okay so to get around that let's go to settings go into your output go down to custom muxer settings and you want to type type in this command and it is uh, dash dash disable dash GPU and that's no spaces and it doesn't matter I don't think it matters about case I did lowercase and then okay and that's going to disable your GPU and put all of the uh, what encoding there is 
to your CPU. Okay. Now, if you're running a 1440 hertz monitor or a 4K monitor, and you're running games like Battlefield One that are high CPU intensive game, and you're trying to get them over 144 hertz, more than likely you have a pretty high end gaming system. Okay, so you should be able to do this and have enough headroom to be able to continue to run your games without any effect on performance. So, um, you know, and this is this is almost nothing. Okay, so you're not really streaming or anything. You're not recording. You're not really making OBS do any real work. You're just sending a preview video uh, feed to your capture card, which is at 1080p 60. If you go down here to your video and you select the base canvas resolution select the you could do the downscale so if you have a 1440p or 4k here you can downscale it to 1080p and then do your frame rate uh fps here and that's what will feed to your gaming capture card so it's very simple guys i hope this helps you out it's very uh it's a good thing to know because now i i don't feel bad about going and getting a you know a higher end gaming monitor uh, because I can now do this through OBS and uh, still reuse my streaming rig to its full capabilities. So, and that's, you know, you get to use that full capability, that gaming monitor, which is totally awesome. So I hope this helped you out. I hope you guys have had a great uh, Thanksgiving, and I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. If you do have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitter at WDA underscore Punisher or leave a comment below, and I will try to get back to you as quickly as possible. With that being said, guys, have a great week. We'll see you out there on the battlefield. Bye-bye.